what is going on guys today i got a couple things to do first off um if you guys saw in the previous video the last video my battery died so currently my car's not starting because the battery said so my, <laughs> one of the guys wendell uh let me borrow this portable charger i have like a current draw somewhere um don't know where it is also i need to i don't know if you guys see that that's my hard drive right let me focus i have it's a terabyte i have six gigs left you know i do game but 400 of the gigs is of the like video clips like old video clips i just save in all my like save videos and stuff um that i make for you guys so i also got to get a like i don't know like some sort of like external hard drive to like offload all these videos because I, I ran out. I'm like running out of space on my computer. I have like 1500 gigabytes and I'm all out. So I gotta go do that too. Also got to install the LED light today, but we'll see if we get there. Oh, also have to apply to this job because I need money. I need more money for my cars and I need to replace the window. So I'm gonna be dropping off the car to like get the thing replaced because I don't want to mess it up. All right guys, so I got the, I don't even know. This is like half inch, whatever, I don't know. But I'm going to be just taking these two terminals off. I already disconnected it. No, I didn't. I'm dumb. This is how you disconnect it to Costco. I don't even know what kind of setup this is, but whatever, you know. Um, undo that. Undo this one. That's the wrong way. Undo this one. Right. Take that off. I need to pull the battery out because it's not even locked in or anything. Got this battery out. There's a little 620 sticker. I don't know if that's when the warranty is until, but hopefully Costco will just ignore it and be like, all right. And there's also like this battery seat fluid here. But yeah, I've had this battery for probably like, I don't know, seven months. So yeah, I definitely have a current draw somewhere because battery should definitely last longer than seven months. Um, but yeah, let's just topa Costco. Costco gives me that free battery. Just got the new battery from Costco. Shout out Costco, 36 month warranty. I blow through batteries every six months. Don't tell them that. <clears throat> but yeah, we're about to throw it in. And also I just figured out, I have a, I have, this is a Gretty. This is a Gretty intercooler, I didn't know that. But it says trust on the side, so I'm pretty sure it's a Gretty trust unless someone would stamp a fake trust and print on a fake intercooler. I don't think people would do that, but yeah. Uh, this is gonna be up for sale soon, so if anyone wants it, I think I'm actually selling it to someone local. Um, but yeah, also I need to sell this ARC intake intercooler. Ah, the ARC intake as well, and intercooler. Both of them are probably gonna be for sale. All right guys, little update. I uh, just picked up my car from the auto glass store. And oh my God, dude, it looks, it, dude, it looks brand new. It's not tinted, I don't think. It's like, it's like blue. It's more bluish than the other side. You can see, but this one's like darker, a little darker, and this one's like more blue. But it looks like it makes like the outside look really nice. It's like when I'm looking from inside, um, it maybe just because it's cleaner, but it, it's like it's like blue. I don't think it's. I think it has a little bit of natural tint, but other than that, I'm I'm pretty happy. Um, so yeah, and it feels good. You know, goes up and down, completely seals. Uh, there's absolutely zero wind noise on the highway. Would recommend getting it done by, by a professional because it's not super easy to do it on the FDs or older cars in general. But yeah, we finally have a window. Uh, let's hope somebody doesn't decide to smash it again. Like to this day, like I know it was on purpose. I know someone vandalized my car and it's just like, I'm moving out of this house probably in like a month. But until then, like I really hope someone watching this doesn't smash my window again. I don't know, it's just kind of like, it's kind of annoying, like, I don't know, like why, bro, like, or girl, what, whoever smashed my window, like why, like what, like I don't understand what they gained out of it, it doesn't make any sense, they didn't steal anything, they didn't steal the car, I don't know. I'm currently in my RX-7, um, as y'all know, I replaced the window, and it is not tinted, so the one thing I did notice is, I don't know if you can see this, but there, a lot more light comes through, so now when I sit in my car, it's a lot hotter, um, I mean, at least I won't get pulled over now for tint because I can say literally this window is untinted. It's how it is from the factory. So if any cop tries to give me trouble, I'll be like, you know, like, not tinted. 
It kind of sucks though, because I'm going to heat up a lot more in the summer, but you know, whatever. I'll just pop the windows and uh, we should be good. <clears throat> and with that new battery, we start up in less than five seconds. It's a new world record. Do need to go get some Costco gas though, not going to lie. Be expensive out here. Hey guys, new issue. Uh, <laughs> new issue. New issue uh, there's a tear in my tire. Here, like, there's it. a visible hole. But you can see stretch mark. And I have an oil line leaking too. Uh, it's it just popped, it just exploded. <laughs> right in front of the camera. Adam's like, alright, let me test this. <laughs> just blows it up. Oh, that's sketchy. Why would you do that? Why would I do what? Alright, guys, so. Uh, this is not what we mean by credit card fitment. Yeah, wait. When we talk about credit card fitment, we, we we're talking about the lip defender, not tired of tired of tired of lip. Uh, tired of lip credit it. card. Credit. <laughs> Dude, we got that sick credit. Hey, this is real credit card Here fitment, guys. Dude, I'm gonna just roll like that, and if anyone gets close, it'll just slash their tires. Now we just take a hammer and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm gonna be taking this back, even though I just got it, the new battery. That's a, that's a rip. Oh well. Griffin's getting another JDM mod. Okay, <laughs> line it up. Is that center? Just about. Alright, start at the bottom. And just do that. Okay. Now do it on the left side. Okay. Okay. Nice. Exhaust is so loud for no reason, bro. It's so loud. I, I like it though. I like it. But one day he's gonna incriminate himself, man. I swear. And someone's gonna, someone's gonna get mad. Think like he's too loud. And then, bam. You know, someone's gonna. Uh oh. Hold on. Is this a race about to happen? Hold on. Let me get both their place real quick. Are they. Are they are they partaking in illegal street racing? I think Ethan in some of the is like, let's race their pinks right now. Uh-oh. Oh god. They're lining up, they're lining up. Oh! 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 <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Are you street racing? What? Was that street racing? No, no. Okay, all right, all right. That's what I thought. All right. We don't do that. Okay, good, good. I was making sure. See you guys. Is he the? He the trying to be? <laughs> Dude, this guy just gonna walk, bro. This guy just gonna fucking walk. <laughs> this is gonna walk him, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Just got home from the drive with the Integra. I didn't film anything because nothing new. You already know I run nine. You know nothing, nothing new. We're just hanging on stuff. It's you know it's buds. But yeah, here's the. Uh, oh, where is it, bro? Oh, here it is. All right, so if you guys can see that, um, yeah, that is, uh, let me get that credit card one more time. Uh, uh, yeah, so clearly my tire is no good. It is not debated, but it is very uh, focused. It's very close to. Um, it's on both sides of the front, probably because the fronts are more of an aggressive stretch. I'm running 215s on a 10 wide. Um, don't ever do that. So what I'm gonna do is get um, 245s. I'm gonna pick some up, 245s, put them on the front, and then put 265s. I have 265s in my garage and put them on the rear, and uh, we can have some good tires, but first, I'm probably just gonna do the fronts first. I'm gonna cook the rears, I'm gonna cook the current rears, 
and then uh, and then I'm gonna throw the 265 on because you know I want to get the maximum use out of my tires. I don't know if anyone will buy these used tires. They're 245, 35, 18s. Um, they're pretty good. They're like 40% left. But I just I just don't think anyone will buy used tires at 40% tread. The minimum would have to be like 50. So I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, sell them or get rid of them or just burn them. All pretty good day. Well, not really. I mean, I didn't get to drive the FD. After everything I did, I got the battery in and I got the, um, what's it called, the new window in. And I really wanted to drive it today, but it didn't work out that way because my tire was just obliterated. So, um, also good news is the injectors, the USPS, I remember how you, they like lost my injectors. They found them and they shipped them to RC Engineering. They checked them out. They're 1600cc Bosch injectors um, and they're clean. They cleaned, uh, the RC Engineering cleaned them and flow tested them. So they're sending them back tomorrow. Um, I'm also picking up a new intercooler kit for the single turbo. Uh, so everything is together. I just have to throw everything together and then uh, obviously disassemble my current car, the current engine bay. So the AFD might be down next week for like a month, which is gonna be really sad, but I'll try to keep you guys uh, up with content of how the swap's going over and then also just maybe some more integral content. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Velvet. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. Smoky guys living fast wearing velvet. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis?